and change. We went from a beautiful sunny day to storms and cooler temperatures. Let's check in with meteorologist Sabrina Fine. Sabrina, will the rain carry over into the morning commute? Uh, we are going to see the showers come to an end. However, we're noticing a flood warning uh, that has been posted now for North Hartford County as well as Cecil County, where they've already seen one to two inches of rain. So the flood warning there goes until about 415 on into the morning hour. So it does look like it will end right in time for your morning commute. The shower activity, if we take a look at the radar now, we're seeing a lot of the reds and the yellow. So this is very heavy rain, but it is not severe. I think the severe weather threat for the evening has has come to an end and that is the good news for us because we did see a concern there with some of the high winds about 60 miles per hour but not the case right now just moderate to heavy rainfall especially out over toward baldwin out over toward perry hall this is coming to into edgewood most likely in about five minutes you'll start to notice the intensity really beginning to pick up right now you just have the lighter stuff Bel Air also dealing with light rain now, but you can see all the reds out over toward your west. That should arrive in your area in about five minutes. So we're looking at the action heading to the northeast around 20 miles per hour. Also further down to the south, out over toward Churchill, you are finally drying out. But into Galena, you're noticing the moderate rainfall looking to stay with you for about the next 10 to 15 minutes. Our forecast shows us the shower activity stays with us. I think by 1 o'clock, 145, most of it's out of here. Bel Air, maybe another flare up coming your way, but it is going to to be done by the time we get to 415. More showers, though, in our forecast for tomorrow. We break down the timing in just a bit. Mallory.